good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Sherry Williams here with Texans linebacker Whitney Merciless. He has perfect skin and teeth, by the way. He's here, though, to talk about his great charity. <laughs> Wink and the gun. Uh, the Texans schedule. Yep. And the next season, the draft starts next week on Thursday. Mm -hmm. We were looking at your draft video. It's awfully cute. You said y'all rented a lake house. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. So uh, the, the whole draft process was uh, really, really awesome and just really surreal. Uh, to watch the TV and actually see my name called on the screen, on the ticker, and uh, just know that my dreams came true. Where were you thinking you wanted to go? I just wanted to go somewhere warm. Uh, little did <laughs> I know how warm Texas was. <laughs> I think last year was the hottest uh, training camp I've been, uh, been a part. About yeah. 130 degrees on a heat index. You went to college in Illinois. Yeah. yeah. Where'd you grow up? Uh, I grew up in Akron, Ohio. Yeah, not yeah. much difference there no, in the weather. not at all. Not at all. But your family's from Haiti. Yep. So you got the tropics in your blood. Yeah, no doubt. So I'm used to, I'm used to the you know, hot tropic weather. It, it, it's almost as if you're sucking in water through your <laughs> lungs and all that. So I'm used to it. <laughs> um, let's talk about the Texan season. The schedule just got announced. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to face the Patriots again. But as Russ said earlier, in <laughs> September, I can't stand them, Whitney. Uh, Be honest, you can't either. Oh, of course. Who, who, no, who does? I mean, I mean dude, we were about this close uh, and, and last year in the playoffs and all that. And so, of course, we get another chance. We get another chance, and that's what's perfect about this league. Uh, we, we get another chance to prove ourselves, to, uh, uh, to make things right uh, for ourselves, and know that we're just this step away and we can actually get over that hump. After you lose that playoff game, what's that feel like? Is it just like crushing? Or are you kind of like, this is the business, I know mm -hmm. what's up, go home, shake it off, get ready for next season? I'll say it's a little bit crushing. It, it, you know, it, you're just a step away. You, you know that you could have, you could have, you could have been there. And you know there, there's certain pieces that could have put you in place. And so that, that's where we'll improve in the offseason, get a little bit better on the defense, get a little bit better on the offense and special teams so that we can push over that hump. Y'all don't go to the locker room and go, like, man, it was your fault. You missed that block. You missed that tackle. That's why we didn't go. I oh, know. You got to be a team. You got to be a team. And cohesive unity, that, that it's one of the greatest team sports ever. Yeah, not one guy can make – the whole thing just true. worked. You can't be a Westbrook out there nah, like in the nah. NBA. <laughs> You're not gonna win Westbrook. Okay, <laughs> they might win in Oklahoma. Anyway, back to football. More specifically, your charity is called With Mercy. Yep. And so every year you pick a different thing to focus on. Mm -hmm. This year it's autism. Yes. How do uh, you pick? So uh, honestly, yeah, probably just uh, put it something <laughs> in the hat and just you know yeah, just start throwing darts at it or something like that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but uh, the, you know, honestly, the focus is uh, wait, what's the most prevalent need out right now. And so I, I think autism was a, was a great pick for, uh, for the first year uh, that With Mercy is in, uh, has been established. And so um, autism has been rapidly growing. Um, it's something that's been uh, coming to light mm -hmm. over the last few years. And so honestly, that I, I sat down with the team and everything and said, hey, let's go ahead and focus on this and uh, see how many families we can actually help and affect. I think it's great that a lot of you players have charities. Mm -hmm. Is that something that the organization says, listen, find a cause? You know, it, honestly, mm -hmm. it's good PR, but there's so much of a need out there. Yeah. There's a lot of people who need help, and you are in a position to help people. Yeah, exactly. I, I think, honestly, it being in a position uh, you know, on a high platform that you, we all have a responsibility to actually try to help out our brothers and sisters somehow, some way. And so what perfect way for me in playing in the NFL, being in front of millions and millions of viewers to actually now push out one of the greatest needs uh, such as uh, disabilities for, for me specifically and for all my other uh, counterparts to push whatever the causes that are dear to their heart. You're a great guy, great player. Dap me if you hate the Patriots. Back to y'all. <laughs> All right. That's great. By, by the way, um, the foundation with Mercy, it's Mercy with an I if you're trying to find yes. it online, right? So we want to make sure people don't miss it. You got it. Thanks okay. for coming in, buddy. That's cool. I, We're going to try to get him to stick around for the end of the show. I know. To... I think you're just a little starstruck. Oh, I'm just, no. you know, I mean, I I'm not football. trying to embarrass you, I Whitney. Love but I love yes, football. He does. So, yeah. I want to, football. What I, I know is when I grow up, uh -huh. I want to be Whitney Merciless. So that's it. I think you got a lot of growing to do, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, that, that ship has sailed, my friend. I'm just saying. Yeah. Don't drink crowd. your milk. Tough crowd. <laughs>